Welcome to our MBS plugin video. Today we show you the IMAP email example project coming with our plugin examples. If you open the project, you can enter your IMAP server domain, your username, and your password. Then you can see if loading the email list will work for you. Here we have the list of all the emails in the IMAP post box. So we have subject, we have here the form address, the to address, and we got a date. On the second tab here, you see the, the raw data we get from the plugin. So here's the protocol from curl, where you usually can see if something goes wrong. Especially you may see here our messages like uh, wrong password or access denied. This may include here SSL stuff like as you see we are talking to the server and we are discussing which SSL certificate to use and we got a certificate and then it can be um, checked against the local certificates. And this is the listing we get from the plugin. So the plugin passes the output from the IMAP server and gives you a JSON representation containing all the details about the emails and the post box. And this is passed and put into records so we can show it here. Now we can load an email. The plugin loads the email on the first time we click the button. And we have some fields here, like we have a test. Um, we have the subject here. We have the date field. And um, this is the date field from the listings. Then we have the send date field from the actual email and the receiving date from the email server. So there is a little time difference between someone sending the email and someone else receiving it. Then we have the plain text of the email and the HTML text of the email. The plugin decodes any email, so if it's encoded as base64 or as quoted printable, we will automatically decode it. Then we have here the listing which application sent the email, that's from the headers of the email text. We get all the recipients and addresses here. So we have from, to, cc, and uh, reply to, and optional sender address. We get all the uh, embedded attachments uh, and the inline graphics listed here as, uh, as files and container fields. Each uh, item does have a file name. And now uh, we switch to the preview here, where the plugin will actually put together the HTML and the inline graphics to show you the, the full email or the preview, same as your usual email application. And here is the debug tab, where you can see that our email does have an ID. So 190 is our own ID in the FileMaker database. 11 is the ID of the post box here in this example. And 109 is the unique ID of this email in your IMAP post box. Here we have the entry for the email with the metadata from the listing. On the right side, we have the source code of the email. So you can see uh, all the header fields here including all the uh, plain text and the uh, encoded HTML. As you see, it's already, it's, it's not encoded with quoted printable. Uh, yes, it's just 7-bit HTML. But if there is uh, any encoding, the plugin will, uh, of course, decode it transparently. And here's a base64 encoded uh, inline graphics. 
Here uh, we have the URL which is used with the plugin to actually download this email. So uh, when we get the listing, we get this URL included here in the, in the JSON data. And when you want to load the email, we just take this URL to download the email. And then we set here the loaded flag. If we want, we can also delete the email. And now let's take a look on the scripts. So here we have a clear script. Okay, we want to load the list of emails. So, and you want to see a little bit better. So we use a plus button here. Hide the site. And now you can see we have uh, our code to create a new call connection. We use the fetch command here. And right in the fetch command, we specify the, uh, the fields we want to have flags, internal date, the size of the email. We want a peek into the body entries for the fields like message ID, date, form, subject, and the other fields. When we perform the query, which will do the connection to server and get us a result, the result is uh, passed here as an email list and we put it in the field later. And we also use our JSON colorize function to make it a little bit nicer to read. The debug messages are also taken from the transfer and put into a log field. And if this transfer succeeded, we continue and loop over all the entries in the JSON, JSON block. So here uh, we pass the JSON, we get back a reference number. So the plugin just passes the JSON once and puts it in memory so we can access it quickly. Well, the first item is to get the size of the array, then we loop over the entries, we pick the UID, and then we check via SQL command whether we have this UID already or not. If, if the email is new, and uh, we ha haven't imported it already in our listing, we can get the date, subject, URL, and then actually create a record below here with all the details. To get a from and a to entry, we actually walk over the list of recipients to pick the from and the to entries and put them into a variable so we can show that in our records. Finally, a little bit clean up here, and then we go to the layout with the postbox and show all the emails. To load an email, we take the ID, passed as a parameter, and then we go to the record for the email, and if it's not yet loaded, we make a new call transfer, and we get the email source code, we get it as text to show it to you in the field. We also let the plugin parse it here. And our plugin has a MEMA parser so we can well decode all the email components. And we have a parse email script here to actually take all the parts of the email and put it in records. So plain text, HTML, send and receive dates, the header fields, the attachments and addresses. So first here the addresses, but we well, we delete them in case we have had the email passed before. We put the addresses in records, we put the attachments in records, and also the inline graphics, which are handled separately by the plugin. And then on the end, we free our email from memory. To show a preview of the email, we actually have to take a temporary folder, put all the reference graphics files there, also the HTML, and in the HTML we change all the links to referencing the picture files, and this way we can just load our email into uh, our web viewer, and all the re relative links for the image files will simply work. If there is a plain text email, we have here a little snippet to encode the text to HTML, then to replace all links in the HTML with actually clickable links. 
and then change all the new lines to HTML and put a little HTML header in front and after it and then just load the HTML. Works wonderful. To delete an email we do another curl transfer but this time we have here the command to put the flag deleted on the email. The email is identified by the unique ID so it's really only this email getting deleted. We also use the expunge command to um, delete all the emails marked to be deleted. So this is like putting it in the trash can and this is then emptying the trash can. We can also list folders by our curl query ending with a slash on the URL. So in this case we get a listing of all the folder names and we can see how our inbox folder or whatever other folders we have are named. The setup curl method here is, uh, is usually the default for everyone but you can change it like you can change the port number you need. You can uh, change the SSL settings. This one here forces to use SSL and requires TS TLS 1.2, which well is, is available for 10 years now, so every mail server should support it. But sometimes we get really old software on the server side and then we need to go here back to another version like TLS 1.0. And that's it. Oh yeah, there's a bonus method. This is to import EML files from a hard disk. So if you have an um, email you got somewhere else downloaded, you can just pause it and add it to the list here the same way as before. So that's our email example and I hope you have fun here getting all your emails shown in your solutions. And if you need more, we also have functions to send emails with HTML and included graphics to users so you can make personalized newsletters. Thank you for watching.